Hey, what's up everybody? Today I want to show you a new feature from Cloudflare called Cloudflare Pages. Cloudflare Pages allow you to instantly upload your code to GitHub and automatically deploy it to a static server hosted by Cloudflare. And so you'll take advantage of all the crazy offering Cloudflare has, such as a multi-location server and great caching DDoS prevention, that kind of thing. So it's more than just a static page, but it's the ability for you to instantly and quickly deploy your sites, your status sites to the web. So how do we do this? Let's start by creating a new repository on GitHub. So let's call this CF Cloudflare static demo. So CF static demo, that's, that'll be your name and we'll leave everything the same. So now we have this new repo set up. We need to do the same for local. So we should, so in this case, for a static page, you could be anything. It could be a Gatsby app. It could be a regular HTML app, or it could be a Next.js app. So for my, for this purpose, I am going to create a Next.js application just to demonstrate the ability to create static sites fast and easy. So we can do npx create next app. Let's call it the same name as our repo. So let's call it CF static demo. So this will use uh, Next.js's command line tool to install all the necessary files to set up a boilerplate for our static app application. So we'll give it a few seconds to set up all of that stuff. It will automatically be done. So here it's done. So before we do that, let's open the app in VS Code. So there it is, CF static demo. So now we have this, this application set up from Next.js. So let's not worry about what's in it, but let's do npm run dev to make sure that our application can run. And as you can see, it's now host, running on host 3000. If we go there, we should see a hello, welcome to Next.js. So we have a very quick application set up and this is going to be our static website. Now, as you can see, Right now, everything is loaded through uh, local. It's Webpack, so all the JS and uh, CSS, all of that stuff is hot loaded. So in order for us to generate a static site without all of this uh, ma magic, a static site, we need to use the build command from Next.js. So if you look at our application, there's a build command for Next.js. It's called next build. So if we run that, it will create a new folder with all your static files. So if you have a website, usually what you do is you open up your server and you copy the file to your server manually or via a command line. And then you go to the server and it should start running. So for our case, we're going to use start, uh, Cloudflare pages. So we don't have to do any of that. So first, in order to start, you need to get an account for Cloudflare pages. So you can go to a dashboard of cloudflare.com and then there's a pages section. So here, let's create a new static application under Cloudflare Pages. So let's click on Create Application. And we had to connect to our GitHub account so Cloudflare can set up a couple of um, webhooks to your repo. So if you click on that, so under my name. So I only want to authorize the CF demo repo. So you click on that, and then you click Install and Authorize. So give it a second and Cloudflare will now link your application. Oh, this is our new repo that we just made. It will link your, your repo to their internal services. So I got to give props to Cloudflare that they made everything so easy to set up. So here is the repo that we set up under my account. You click on begin setup. Here you can rename the project if you want and you can select the production branch. So right now, the, the thing is, I haven't pushed anything there yet. So let's push our code to the server so it could recognize what branch to use. So I'm gonna do git init, commit, gonna add everything, git commit, first push. And now we need to add a origin. So uh, here's doing the main repo, but for traditional sense, I'm just gonna do it with the master branch. So I'm going to add the repo and then I'm going to push to origin master. Oh, it seems like, oh, right. So let's see, 
if I added this. Ah, it's in main branch. Okay, we'll fine. We'll be fine with main branch because by default it'll use the main branch. So now we just pushed up our code. If we refresh, there's our Next.js application. So Cloudflare should be, if we refresh this, it should be able to detect the main branch from this. So let's try it again. There it is. So it knows that this is the production branch. So whenever you push something to this branch, it will trigger a build for from Cloudflare and it will automatically build your code, produce the static files, and then upload it to their server and then serve it to the public. It will take care of all the DNS stuff. So we'll see how this works. So you got build settings. So here you can actually select a couple of preset frameworks. So it understands that I you can create like all of these frameworks. You can use all of these frameworks to create a static website. So if you like Vue or React or Jekyll, um, you can do all of that. So for us, it's a next application. So we're just gonna click on Next.js. So as you can see, the command is automatically filled out. It will do next build and the next export export to the slash out directory. So this is directory that your assets, your static assets are being exported. We're going to leave these two the same, and then we're going to save uh, and deploy. So that's all you need to do for this to be deployed. So right now, Cloudflare is sending this build in uh, request to their end server, and they will look at your code via the permission from GitHub and set up a couple of webhooks so whenever you push something to the main branch, it will see that change. It will receive a webhook message, and then it will deploy all of that stuff based on the command that you laid out on the previous section. So here, uh, it will take a few minutes for the orig original initialization process. So we're just going to give it some time to do. Um, as you can see, you see all the details of your build down here. This is my repo, my branch. This is the actual commit. So if you click on that, it will show you the actual commit for your code change. So this is our very first commit. So you are going to see all of that changes. Now you see the build command and then the folder. Here's a root directory. If you ever serve your static file under a, a, another folder, you can set you can identify a, a subroot to serve your file so it seems like it's getting close to done so we're, what we're gonna do is oh okay it's done so you see you have a website a web page url here that page is not there now this this for the free accounts so i have a free account so the, all of my pages are under dot pages dot dev but if you have your own domain with cloudflare you can easily set that up and then link this page to a specific domain. So there's literally zero configuration needed on the server side. So if I click on that, as you can see, this is my application and it's done. This is the same application I have locally and Cloudflare was able to deploy that to the server. So I am really, really impressed with how easy this is to for everything to be set up. Um, so what we're gonna do next is, let's go back to our projects so as you can see, we have a our production pro application right here. So here's a list of history, of all your deployments. So what we're going to do is we're going to update this React application. Let's do npm run dev. We're going to update this application to, to change a little bit about this application, right? So let's say we make some changes. Um, welcome to Next.js. Let's change it to welcome to Pentacode, right? So click on save. So if you go to local, it should be it's like localhost. It should update it to localhost, pentacode. Awesome. So let's say we want to deploy this change automatically. Well, usually when you do is you have to push and then there's some CI, CD pipeline, all that stuff you have to deal with. But with pages, you don't have to do any of it. So if I do git status, I see that one of my changes is there. I'm just going to commit that, change title, and I'm just going to push it. Like that's it. So once I do that, right, Cloudflare will automatically detect my new change along with my commit name, commit uh, message. So it sees that a new commit has been made, right? So if I go here, you see that this is, I changed the name to Pentacode. So once they detect that, it will automatically start a new build process. So you can view build to see the process of what it's doing. So currently it takes a bit to update all that stuff, but uh, 
I think it will probably get faster over time. But if you're developing stuff and deployment like without doing anything, I think this time is worth it. So you can open this page and see its updates um, there. So in the meantime, I want to plug the Pentacles uh, daily newsletter. We deliver three times a week and we will give you all the latest and greatest web dev news. If you're a developer, you will find all of this news uh, articles very, very useful. If you read this every time, you will definitely become a better developer as you uh, read more of these articles. So I highly suggest you go and sign up for this new letter. The link is in the description below. So let's go back to the account. It's inside, it's building the application, it's done, and it's deployed. So now it's finished deploying, right? So if we go to our website again, if I refresh, it's just say, welcome to Pentacode. So that's how easy it is for you to update your application with the static pages from Cloudflare. What an amazing achievement, Cloudflare team. Well done. So now I want to quickly show you a couple of settings that you can do. So subdomains, as I mentioned earlier, if you have your own domain, you can link it to this static page. Let's say www.foo.com. You can just go there and then it will show your app. Very nice. Now on the settings, there's a nice thing to do here. There's this thing called access policy. So if you want only a certain IP address or certain people with certain email to be able to reach this URL, you can set up here for people to um, even access your settings, your deployment settings. So if you have in a team, this is very useful. Now web analytics, this can be enabled. So if you click on enable web analytics, now if you click on analytics, you have a very cool analytics dashboard for your application. So now you can see the visits in the last 24 hours or something, or the preferred host. It even has performance reports for your website. So you, it's like pretty basic right now, but it's very nice to see an overview of your static pages traffic Do this. Now remember, all of your traffic get the, all of your uh, static pages get the benefits of web uh, Cloudflare. So it's, it's great. And if here, if you want to delete your project, you can delete it. So yeah, that is it for the basic, basic of uh, Cloudflare pages on offering from Cloudflare. It's free. They recently made it free. So you can start deploying a ton of stuff in here. And if you ever need to deploy a quick proof of concept to somebody in your office or in your team, you can clearly like easily use this to demonstrate that ability. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time.